If you care about food and things that are delicious, you need to care about hot jardiniera. Hi, my name's Xteen. I've challenged myself to cook something different every day for 30 days. Today is day 16, and I've received a very important package. Why, it's my gallon-sized jug of hot jardiniera, of course. Yay! Just give us a minute alone together. So this video is going to be an ode to hot jardiniera because I love it so, so much and I just want to talk about something I love. I want to spread awareness. I need people to know how good it is. Also, I am gonna be cooking. We're making tavern style pizza for dinner, but I've already made a cooking video showing how to make that. So it's just gonna sort of be happening. And you know that we're gonna be topping it with hot jardiniera. Jardiniera is a superfood in that it makes everything super delicious. Okay, I'm being bad. We wanna talk about simple ingredients. Pretty simple, hot peppers. Vegetable oil, carrots, cauliflower, celery, gherkins, spices, vinegar, salt, calcium chloride, sodium benzoate, and sodium bisulfite. I don't know what those last couple are, but I'm assuming they're just other types of salt. Hot jardiniera is often used on pizza, Italian beefs, sausages, things of that nature. I'm pretty sure it's a very Chicago thing. Yes, it says it's Chicago tradition since 1898. Wow, wow. How can you argue with that? pizzas in the oven. And just for a little context, after I made tavern style pizza for the first time, which was, I don't know, a year and a half ago, I actually became addicted to it and now we make it all the time. And in addition to becoming addicted to tavern style pizza, I also became addicted to jardiniera. I put it on the pizza, I put it on burritos, I put it on salads. It's just a nice little spicy kick. And by the way, I'm so glad that I filmed the first time I ever made tavern style pizza. <laughs> because it was sort of a watershed moment in my life. There was before I made tavern style pizza and now there's after. Wait. And I was forever changed. It was really good. So I'm glad to have that moment forever preserved because it really meant a lot to me. Mm. And it might seem like I'm being dramatic, but I'm actually being so serious. The feeling of discovering a new food that you love, I think is very special. And that's one of the few joys of being an adult, is I can still try new foods. When you're a kid, you get to have new experiences all the time. Every day is exciting. You're doing something new all the time. It feels like the world is your oyster. As you get older, you do less and less new things. You settle into a routine. Life gets boring as... Life gets boring as <gasps> But food, you can always try new food. I think that's something to celebrate. is my everything. Who doesn't love a spicy little pickled vegetable on whatever you're eating? It adds so much. 